the history of stablecoins is very linked to the history of cryptocurrencies since stablecoins are a subset of cryptocurrencies. As a reminder, cryptocurrencies started in 2008 with Bitcoin and its underlying technology, blockchain. Then, a very important development in 2013 was Ethereum, initially a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, but that subsequently grew into a whole ecosystem that allowed the development of decentralized applications and smart contracts. Stablecoins started the year later, in 2014, with BitUSD, a stablecoin linked to the US dollar. And so with the objective of one BitUSD having a value of one US dollar, and BitUSD had a mechanism that was quite similar to TerraUSD of having a stablecoin and a stabilizing cryptocurrency. So BitUSD was the stablecoin and BitShares was the stabilizing cryptocurrencies. And the transactions between one and the other were supposed to keep the value of BitUSD at $1. BitUSD effectively died in 2019 when it lost 30% of its value and never managed to recover it. Another important development was MakerDAO, a decentralized autonomous organization that was launched in 2015. And in 2017, MakerDAO launched DAI, a stablecoin also linked to the US dollar, which is an algorithmic stablecoin. As of today, DAI still exists and is one of the major stablecoins. 2015 saw the creation of Tether that has become one of the largest stablecoins today. Tether was created by an exchange called Bitfinex. With similar technologies, USDC was launched by Circle in 2018, and BUSD, Binance USD, was launched in 2019. All those five examples are examples of stable coins linked to the US dollar. And as we have seen, stable coins linked to fiat currencies, and in particular the US dollar, are the most popular types of stable coins. Non fiat stable coins, such as gold linked stable coins, were also created. For example, Econ Gold in 2018, but they never really had any kind of traction. To summarize, stablecoins started in 2014. The overwhelming majority of them are stablecoins linked to the US dollar. And market adoption really started in 2020, as we will see in the next chapter.